On October 15, 2024, Brawl Stars announced a massive trophy rework that would change the entire landscape of trophies. Since the announcement, there has been a bitter war on both sides, with many people hating the update and quitting the game due to it, while others love the update and its additions. Today, I'm going to give an objective view of the update and my own thoughts with the pros and the cons of the update. If you enjoy the video, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and comment your own thoughts on the video. Now kickbacks, relax, ask Fang for some popcorn, and enjoy the video. First off, let's go over what this update added. The first and biggest update was the update to tiers. From 35 tiers, the total amount of tiers has gone up to 50 tiers, with the top tier now being called Max, and no, not the Brawler Max. To reach the max tier with the Brawler, you have to reach 1,000 trophies with said Brawler, and each tier is 20 trophies making tier 50 be 1,000 trophies. Trophy gain and loss will also be more forgiving than they currently are, as you can still lose more trophies than you gain, not including win streaks, under 1,000 trophies. With the new system, you can no longer lose more trophies than you gain under 1,100 trophies. A lesser known fact is that now, the trophy season reset will always happen at the same time as the new Brawl Pass season. And now, for the most controversial part of this new update, the addition of the new trophy reset, resetting your brawler back to 1000 trophies, no matter what trophy level they are. It doesn't matter if your brawler is at 1000 trophies or 3000 trophies like my goat Pika, you will still go back to 1000 trophies with that brawler at the end of the season. Also, there is no longer a trophy reset for brawlers under 1000, which I think nobody really talked about. Underdog also gets removed for all games above 1000 now as well. Another big change is that win streaks are not for all of your brawlers now, but are now tied to individual brawlers. This means that if you lose a game with Shelly after a 10 game win streak, you lose your win streak with only Shelly, and your win streak with brawlers like Fang or Bull are not affected. Another new addition is a revamp to leaderboards. There is now a seasonal leaderboard for brawlers that reset every season, and there is also an all time leaderboard that shows the highest ever trophies reached with that brawler. There are also now season prestiges, which show up on your profile as a counter, and with each brawler you get on a season leaderboard, the counter goes up by one. Furthermore, the previous records from before the trophy rework will also show up, making Pico's 3k bull still be remembered for the rest of eternity. But that's not all, as old achievements for everyday players will be re remembered as well. Players who have had one brawler at rank 35 will get an exclusive pin, and players who have had 10 brawlers at rank 35 will get an exclusive title, with the number of rank 35s you have gotten being able to be displayed in your profile. Once the update releases, all brawlers above 1,000 trophies will return back to 1,000 trophies. Finally, let's talk about the trophy box. How it works is that it increases in level with the more seasoned trophies you have. Seasoned trophies are the number of trophies you have gained with brawlers above 1,000 trophies. The trophy box levels go from small, to Big, to Mega, to Omega, to Ultra. These boxes are mostly filled with cosmetics, but have chances for progression like token doublers and gems. For the full information, look at this graphic. Finally, for real this time, in a recent announcement, Brawl Stars announced that they will be giving an exclusive spray to people who have gotten a rank 30. W Brawl Stars, no bias at all here. Now that I've finished talking about what this update added, let's now analyze whether this update was good or bad. First of all, the decision to make tiers from tier 35 to tier 50 is an interesting one. On one side, it again contributes to the inflation of ranks, with a rank 30 in this current season being equivalent to a rank 50 in the new season. On the other hand, it makes the rank system much less confusing and gives a constant rank up, up every 20 trophies. Trophy gain and loss are also now much more forgiving than they once were. Once again, there are two sides to this. On one hand, it makes pushing trophies much less competitive, as a 50% win rate can now get you a rank 50, whereas it previously wouldn't have gotten you a rank 30. It also might make games feel less important, and people might be more inclined to troll and generally be a bad random if they know they won't lose that many trophies. On the other hand, this now makes trophy pushing easier and less stressful than before. Even if you lose a game, you can make it back with a win in the next game. 
This also helps newer and more casual players push higher than they used to, letting them get more experience with better opposition at higher tiers, basically forcing them to become better players at the game. A smaller addition is the change to the Brawl Pass season now starting with the Trophy League season, which I think is an underrated change. I also forget when the season reset happens, and now that I can associate the two together, it will be much easier to remember when it is and push accordingly. Now, let's talk about the trophy reset resetting your brawlers back to 1000 if your brawler is above 1000 trophies. For many reasons, this is a controversial change. If you push to 1100 trophies before this update, you could at least show that you reached that milestone with the rank 32 next to your brawler. Now, however, everything above 1000 is classified as the same, which is the tier max, and 1100 trophies is merely just not enough to get onto any leaderboards so your achievement will be forgotten once the reset happens. This also affects pro players especially, as they will have to be able to grind from 1000 to whatever exorbitant amount pros usually push to. And with the new matchmaking changes, they will have to push there with horrendous randoms as the players decide not to play on the team. However, this makes it so that matchmaking at those higher trophy levels are much faster. This helps pro players find games much quicker and get up half faster and helps people like streamers who don't have to have minutes of dead time doing nothing but waiting for a game and constantly have gameplay playing. Also, the fact that there is no trophy reset for brawlers under rank 30 is great, as it means people no longer have to play as many brawlers in order to prevent falling trophies, and could just focus on getting 1000 trophies. Underdog being removed for brawlers above 1000 trophies is a little annoying, as your teammates could play an absolute with an absolute noob and you will lose the regular amounts of trophies, but this is a very rare scenario. Now, win streaks are now tied to individual brawlers. This is good because if you lose a game with one brawler, your win streak with other brawlers are not affected, and you can still push them. Let's now talk about the revamp to leaderboards. There are now seasonal leaderboards, which aren't too different from the current ones, except that they have a reset every single season. The all-time leaderboards are a great addition, and give more of an incentive to push your brawlers ridiculously high and still have your achievements remembered. The season prestiges are also a nice touch for those at the top of the top to show how good they are. As for the exclusive stuff, I think those are great additions. Having exclusive items tied to skill, or in some cases, unfortunately, win trading, is a great idea and is a very cool flex. And the late addition of rank 30s getting a spray was also very nice. Now, let's talk about the trophy box. The idea behind the trophy box is very good. Before the rewards, where for pushing up ranks were a finger full of bling and star points before that. Other than that, all you got was maybe a bit little better practice for improving your skills when you play at high ranks, and obviously the flex of having those ranks. This is why trophies and ranks sorely needed a rework, and the trophy box is a perfect change for that. It continues the theme of ranks being tied to cosmetics, but actually manages to give meaningful rewards, as you can get important stuff such as gems, epic skins, mythic skins, legendary skins, and even hypercharged skins. Of course, most of these rewards won't be able available to your average player, but it's still better than nothing in my opinion. Furthermore, it also has been confirmed to be a better source of bling than before, so it can help with free-to-play players being able to get more skins with bling than previously. Overall, I have a consciously optimistic perspective on this update. I know many people are divided on this update, with some people extremely mad at it, and some people defending it with their lives. As for me, and what I recommend you to do is to be cautiously optimistic. Many of these changes are very good ones. One example includes this update basically spelling an end to win traders, which has been one of the biggest problems in this game for a long time, and is causing many win traders to quit the game, which I take as an absolute W. The addition of trophy boxes was a sorely needed one as well, and it gives a much bigger reward and incentive for players to push trophies than before. There are also very nice miscellaneous updates, such as the win streak rework, the exclusive items, the matchmaking time being extremely reduced at higher trophies, and the trophy reset no longer happening for brawlers under 1000. Unfortunately, not all of the updates in this trophy rework were that great, or will be uncertain if they are good or not until we play the update. One of the biggest changes introduced in this update is that total trophies is no longer considered in matchmaking, and only brawler trophies will be considered. This is an extremely controversial change and can either go terribly or very well when the update releases. This could theoretically make the bad random problems even worse, as you can have teammates with triple digit trophies facing enemies with nine digit trophies, an obviously unfair matchup. However, the opposite is true, and you can get extremely lucky. To 
put what this matchmaking might be like into context, this is the most similar to their current challenge matchmaking, where it is very loosely based on total trophies. Matchmaking is horrendous most of the time, so keep that in mind when looking at the new update. Anyway, the reset of Brawlers over 1,000 trophies back to 1,000 trophies is an interesting change, which I don't think is necessarily good nor bad, as it has both positives and negatives that overall balance themselves out for me. For a real, final conclusion, I think that the positives outweigh the negatives for now, but the negatives, if you executed extremely poorly on update release, such as matchmaking, will overpower the positives and make this update a not very good one, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Sorry for all the mistakes in this video, this is my third time recording, so I hope you guys take it easy on me. But anyways, thanks for watching, watch this video, or this playlist, or join the Discord server.